All right, so let's look at some tips for filtering in the general ledger and chart of accounts. So as you can see, here's my chart of accounts. And I have added these three flow fields into my view here. So I can see net change, uh, balance, and balance at date. And you'll notice that right now, all three numbers for these columns are the same. And that's because um, NAV is calculating the balance for all entries that exist. So uh, what a flow field does is it's essentially a calculation of data behind the scenes in a different table and it displays the answer for, here for you. But I might want to filter by these flow fields so I can look at a different view. So if I click up here uh, on my chart of accounts drop down, I can select this limit totals. And this allows me to filter uh, by the flow field. So I've entered in here a date filter. And you have to forgive the dates. This is a 2017 demo database. Um, <clears throat> but now that I filtered through this time frame, I have three different views. I have my net change from 1117 to 3117. I have my balance as of the working date, and then I also have my balance as of 3117. So this might be great for different analysis, reconciliation, and, and things like that. Yeah, this is a really interesting view to be able to leverage as a finance professional, professional to have the information in the application rather than having to click in to view a report. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a view that we could save, right? Yep. We could save it the same way as we, we did in the beginning with the salesperson report. Great. So another great thing about flow fields, uh, when there's a calculation behind it, you're able to click down and open up uh, the detail where it's um, providing that answer for you. And again, just like we showed you earlier, all NAV is doing for us, this is the general ledger entry and it's filtering by this criteria. So let's say I open this up and I'm like, hmm, something looks interesting. I want to I want to explore this more. I want to change my view. Again, I can just click on this drop down filter now it's showing me exactly uh, how it's filtering and I can make changes and additions here. Break filters just as we did in the earlier section. Uh, another great thing about ledger entries and other areas, uh, documents, other areas of the application is that NAV is very integrated where it will show you exactly the different um, transactions that made up or, or different areas that NAV is impacted. So if I click on navigate here, I'm highlighted on this transaction and I click on uh, navigate. Now I have this uh, window that pops up that allows me to view all these different areas where this transaction has impacted. So for example, maybe I want to see the post purchase invoice be behind this entry. Um, I can just highlight and select show related entries here. And now I'm right in my uh, post purchase invoice. Great. Again, we can export this information and distribute it in different ways. So if I want to uh, extract it and build pivot tables or do other analysis outside of the application, I can do that.